What's up guys, it's Moose here, and today I wanted to bring you guys three new things. First, I wanted to talk about the new DLC, Ascendance, that's coming out at the end of the month. Second, I wanted to talk about maybe getting a classic gun from another Call of Duty into Advanced Warfare. And third, maybe a classic Call of Duty remake. So first here, we are going to be talking about the new DLC. It's called the Ascendance Pack. As I said, it will be coming out at the end of the month, Tuesday, March 31st. There's no trailer out for it yet, but that trailer will be premiering in the finals of COD Champs. If you guys are going to be watching that, it will be premiering then you'll see some commercials as well as dlc has kind of always worked it will come out with four new multiplayer maps a new energy weapon which is the ohm if you do not have the season pass but you want to buy this dlc you will get the ohm and it also comes out with the next chapter of exo zombies called infection it will also come out with a new exo ability a new exo grappling ability so first we'll go through the maps the first map right here is called perplex and it reads venture to the streets of sydney and battle through a five-story modular apartment complex with elevated vantages and tight Quarters. Perplex is a small to medium sized map that fits a variety of playstyles. Construction drones will shake things up, however, as they shift apartment modules and create new strategic pathways. So what this is saying is that these actual apartments will move um, to create different sight lines. So this map at certain points may be good for shotguns and SMGs, and then at certain points be good with snipers and assault rifles. So the apartments will actually be moving around during the game, which is a pretty cool idea. The second map right here is probably what I think will be my favorite, but it's hard to tell. It's called Site 244, and it reads, An alien craft has crash landed beneath Mount Rushmore, USA, making for an awesome medium to large size three lane map littered with extraterrestrial debris gain a competitive edge by earning the map based score streak to open an alien spore that enhances your perk and exo abilities so as you heard in that description it's a three lane map which i've always been a huge fan of as well as this new map based score streak sounds pretty neat so we're not really sure what it does they don't really give us a lot of detail but it does enhance your perks and exo abilities so i don't know if that is like specialist bonus where it gives you all of the perks or if it just lets you use your exo abilities for longer it doesn't really say but that's kind of something cool that we can think about and it'll be pretty fun to play the next map is called climate settle in your dome away from home in climate a lush climate controlled biodome with a circular layout with a centralized island structure for teams to fight for control of climate keeps the pace of the action high the tides can turn however when the river begins to rage and becomes a treacherous obstacle so again as it said it's a circular layout which is something we haven't really seen and i'm not really sure what they mean by this river begins to rage and becomes a treacherous obstacle that could mean a lot of different things so that's something cool that we'll have to look out for in this map and the last map here is called chop shop Discover the seedly underbelly of the unauthorized exoskeleton trade in Chop Shop, a medium-sized industrial complex with a devastating map-based score streak, the Advanced Repulsion Turret. I like this map because it actually reminds me a lot of the campaign, as well as the Advanced Repulsion Turret. just sounds awesome. Um, we're going to have to see what that is. They don't give us any detail on it. They just tell us the name, and the name just sounds awesome. So something that a lot of you guys are probably waiting for here is the new chapter of Exo Zombies. And the best part of it is that we are going back to Burger Town. Now, if you guys remember Burger Town from MW3 and MW2, it was in a lot of the maps. It was kind of the Easter egg in some of the maps, also in the campaign. So it's pretty neat that in Advanced Warfare, they're actually bringing back Burger Town. The four players you will be playing as are John Malkovic, Bill Paxton, Rose McGowan, and John Bernthal. This right here is kind of the only screenshot we have of the new Infection chapter of Zombies. But as you can see, you can kind of get on top of Burger Town there. And then I don't know if this is the only place you can get out because if you kind of look over by that tipped over Burger Town vehicle, so I'm not sure if you mainly fight underground and this is just where you start or this is where you end. Again, I'm not really sure the only screenshot I have, but it is kind of cool to think that we will be playing in Burger Town. As I said before, in this Ascendance pack, if you do just buy this DLC and you don't have the Season Pass, you will get the Ohm or the Directed Energy LMG slash Shotgun, which is one of my favorite DLC guns ever. It's very overpowered, actually, but it's a lot of fun to play with. And finally, there's a new Exo ability that will only be available in the Ascendance game modes. It is called the Exo Grappling Ability. Now, it doesn't really tell us much about it. All it says is this allows players to rapidly reach an elevated vantage point. So we don't really know how it works or anything like that. This new Exo ability will only be available to play with on the new Ascendance maps. It will not be available in any of the regular maps. It's kind of a trial thing. They just want to see how it'll work in the new maps. All right, next I wanted to talk about possibly a classic weapon returning from another Call of Duty and coming into Advanced Warfare. Because a couple days ago, Michael Condry did tweet out kind of asking the people which gun they would like to see come back. People were saying the ACR, the Intervention, the UMP45, stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool to see some of these guns come back i'm not sure how they would really fit into the game if they would have to be buff if they would have to be nerfed we'll have to see about that and then finally i wanted to talk about possibly a 
older Call of Duty coming back, being remastered for the next-gen console. So if you guys are on Twitter at all, you may have seen some polls about MW2 coming back and being remastered for Xbox One and PS4. There's been a lot of talk from a lot of gamers about this, about MW2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, but nobody's really had a say on which game may be actually coming back, so there isn't really any set date on any of this, since I'm pretty sure all of the companies want to keep coming out with new games, they don't really think a older game will sell that well. For me personally, I think an older game would be so much fun to play, getting a new feel on the new consoles for it, and it's kind of fun to just reminisce and have fun with your friends on an old Call of Duty. Also, if you guys missed yesterday's video, I had some trouble uploading it with YouTube's processing, so after my little intro here, if you guys click the annotation on screen, it'll take you right to that video, but other than that, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.